वेलकम टू सुपर मनी आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट थ्री डिफरेंट पीपल वन इज़ अ ट्वेंटी थ्री ईयर ओल्ड हुज पेरेंट्स आर डूइंग वेल एंड शी इज़ नाउ मेकिंग सम इन्वेस्टमेंट चॉइसिस अबाउट वेयर टू इन्वेस्ट वन थिंग विच इज़ ऑन हर हेड इज़ हर सम पीपल इन हर फैमिली लॉस मनी इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी टू ड्यूरिंग द हर्षद मेहता प्रॉब्लम and uh, that has stayed on in her mind believe me she was born only in uh, 2001 or 2000 or 2001 she is just starting her life and uh, there is absolutely no reason for her to remember the harshad mehta scam right uh, she was not there she was not around but she remembers it and she remembers it well and uh, that uh, weighs in her mind and so she is gone for a very uh, conservative uh, say something like 50% debt kind of a portfolio including uh, plus she is putting 1 and 1/2 lakhs in her uh, ppf and uh, most probably she is uh, likely to uh, file a tax return under the new regime so which means she is not going to uh use that atc benefit so but that's how she has decided to do her portfolio uh, another case is of a 32 year old uh, uh, girl who is uh, expecting a second kid and they are planning to sell their current uh, 1 bhk to make a down payment to buy a 3 bhk right so Uh, this is the second girl and she has uh, a very aggressive uh, she and her husband have a very aggressive say 80 90% in equity uh, kind of a portfolio the third person is a 65 year old who has a very longish portfolio of uh, real estate uh, art art fund uh, physical real estate reits uh, equity direct equity Uh, mutual funds debt funds de- and uh, bonds etc uh, etc right so this is the third person uh, what i what i want to you to note in these uh, examples is the all the three of them seem to be having a very high uh, risk taking capacity understand risk taking capacity is high the 23 year old uh, has prosperous parents but because of some muscle memory from the family somebody has said oh this man was so well off but he lost money during the scam or whatever right so that that muscle memory is uh, bothering her and so she is taking a decision for the long term based on some short term fluctuations which may have happened in 1992 in their family but the family's ability to take risk has changed her own ability to take risk is fantastic because she's got prosperous parents who will never need her money she has no other plans i mean obviously at 22 23 the marriage plans are also far away so she has no reason to keep money in any kind of bond funds so but she has chosen that also based on the wrong uh, think that oh in the short run some something happened in my family long back so right so eliminating all this is not going to be very easy what conversations your parents had when you were 15 16 17 18 or you know somebody of a dad saying oh we can't buy a fridge this month because uh, i've lost some money in the market so let's wait for 6 months and all these things uh, hit your head and you tend to remember it so this girl has a high risk taking ability and she should have a high risk tolerance and she also has the need to take risk because that is the way she will build her portfolio this is this is the perfect example of a person who should be more or less only in equity because the company because she is employed somewhere so her provident fund is anyway going a lot into debt so there is no reason for her to be investing in a debt fund she should be in a pure equity fund now take this other uh, 32 year old uh, girl Uh, and her husband he is also about 32 33 uh, they have high risk taking capacity absolutely right but zero risk tolerance for the short term this is something which they are not able to understand their risk taking uh, is all fine their capacity to take risk like the first girl and the first girl also has risk tolerance because in the short run if her portfolio were to go up down stay as it is it wouldn't matter at all because she is not going to draw down now the uh, the couple 
with one kid already in school or just about to go to school and the second kid coming you never know how you have to be prepared right if the girl is suddenly told like next you will need to take 6 months off and uh, stay at home because uh, you have complications in your pregnancy that income goes down they want to make a down payment for a house after selling this house so which means another 30 40 lakhs is required so that uh, you could postpone the house right but you you're not going to be able to postpone the baby the baby already on its way so you could you will be forced to postpone the house and maybe four people don't want to live in a 1 bhk maybe they need the 3 bhk now because her mother could come and stay with her or her mother in law could come and stay with her so they need space so you cannot postpone so here is a case so here is a case where they have a high risk taking capacity because both of them are earning earning well so that's that's not a problem parents uh, may not need the money but parents are not so well off that you can be sure that they will not need the money for example if her mother is coming to uh, stay with her during pregnancy uh, she has to pay for the airfare she has to pay for her mother's stay extra costs keep going up right when you are having a baby and you have to make a down payment for a house so all this common and they want to want to buy the house they're not taking a house on rent so they have to sell this house they have to buy the house right in, in the interim period i don't know what they will do but maybe they will wait to buy the house and then only sell this right so some of these things might require some ca- hand holding in cash for two months three months all those things are possible so the uh, risk taking capacity is there but the short term tolerance is not there need to take risk is there because they have to build up money for the children's education for their own retirement etc etc so need to take risk is there the capacity to take risk is there but risk tolerance in the short run is almost zero now take the 65 year old he has a long complicated portfolio his first job is to simplify his portfolio does he have risk taking capacity yes complete risk taking capacity one daughter well settled um, so he does not have any need for the drawdown at all i mean nothing visible something could happen but really nothing visible both the husband and wife are in good shape and uh, the risk taking capacity is good the risk tolerance is high because he's been in the market for a long time the wife also understands that the market can go up go down they have 10x the amount required for their retirement right so they're very well off so therefore what is missing in this is the need to take risk there is absolutely no need to take risk your portfolio should combine your ability to take risk your need to take risk and your uh, uh, your risk tolerance in the short run all these three when they form if you draw a venn diagram the common portion between these three should decide that this is how your portfolio should be unfortunately people take too much risk or they are not very aggressive they are not taking risk and sometimes after the after reaching the end of the race they still keep running the need to take risk has vanished you can go and put all your money in bonds or bond funds it will not matter don't take the risk beyond the need to take risk you have created your portfolio you're living well uh, the need to take risk is gone simplify your portfolio right so this is what everybody should do towards their portfolio don't let a short term fluctuation worry your capital creation in the long run wealth creation in the long run right understand your so today uh, when a person with uh, slightly uh, disconnect between risk tolerance and risk capacity or need to take risk when you see such people uh, there are some simple products available like uh, your hybrid funds or your balance advantage fund your multi asset fund which are risky make no mistake right now you can't see the risk because equity is booming when equity does badly these funds will not do well so when you see a person like this 65 year old when he has got too much money in equity you can remove some money from equity and put it into a multi asset fund uh, for that person it is reducing the risk because he is taking more risk in equity and uh, in uh, for him a multi asset fund makes sense right but for the first girl that we spoke about the 23 year old uh, if she is in a multi asset fund for her removing money from there or telling her to put more into equity makes sense because she needs to take risk and she has got the capacity to take risk and she's got risk tolerance all of that is in place 
so you see people making these mistakes of saying oh in the long run equity will do well absolutely nothing wrong with that theory over a 10 year period maybe there is an 80 percent chance that equity will do well maybe even a small cap mid cap might do better than even large cap but we are not getting into those debates for the 65 year old the need is gone so there is no need to take any risk so he can go into something like an equity savings fund which gives him some sense of equity but a uh, large amount of debt because uh, there is uh, it doesn't really matter whether he gets 8%, 9% or 11% because his overall portfolio is big. The rate of return doesn't matter. But when you are very young like this 23 year old, again rate of return doesn't matter because the amount invested is very small. She's just starting out on an SIP maybe 30,000 rupees per month. So the rate of return that you're going to get on your capital does not matter when your capital is zero or non-existent, right? But when your capital is 20-30 crores, the rate of return matters, then the portfolio matters. But the uh, but it hardly matters for a person with 30 crores when your requirement is 3 crores. On 30 crores, whether he gets 9% or whether he gets 11% does not really matter. So understand that these words like capacity to take risk, risk tolerance, all these are important, but also has to be managed with need to take risk. All of this have to be in place and then your portfolio gets created. Thank you.